quick winter guide to a tortoise, safe tortoise enclosure. The more space you can give the tortoise the better because they love nothing better than exploring. It's great exercise to make sure that their muscles are nice and strong um, and also they like things to climb as well. What I've done here is I've turfed up a grass area to make a Mediterranean area and made a mound and uh, what we've got here is this is actually just pallet wood. Um, just use, use what you can get hold of. This is 40 centimetres high, 10 centimetres of it is on, under the ground. This is a minimum really um, for an enclosure. Obviously the bigger the tortoise the higher it's got to be. It's got to be lengthwise double the length of the tortoise ideally because they are really good climbers. Don't give them any climbing aids around the edge. The other thing is for the outer perimeters into the wilderness Justin, if you just whiz round, the last thing you want is your tortoise to be lost in that, mm. right? So if you just come down and have a look at the front, it's actually the top edge is capped to stop the tortoise from being able to get its, its legs over and climb out. This is just a little piece of wood and then obviously the corners have got triangles on to stop them shimmying up the corners, okay? So well worth it, get someone practical on the case. The other thing I've done is where I've turfed the grass, we've actually got um, seed mix, edible seed mix. Great time of year in the winter to start seeding an area. It means your tortoise can naturally graze, lots of natural behaviour. It also looks really pretty when all the flowers come out. So that's just a little guide to the kind of thing you could be setting up this winter ready for next spring.